Today, I'm going to talk about an interesting service called Rollbar. It helps us uh, track the errors in our application. So let's say we have an application running in the production mode and you know, we need to keep a track of the exceptions which are you know, uh, coming in the application or you know, if you want to log a few things. This is a kind of a service which really helps you. Uh, I have been using the free account for quite some time now. Uh, they have a you know, free account where with some limitations you can use it and if you like it you can purchase and I personally like this uh, service very much and I'm you know uh, planning to deploy it in quite a few applications which are running in production mode right now so you know this is something uh, you know which I will generally get as you know the errors now we will set up our application my you know this little to do application which I have been building in Vue.js and we will uh, track the exceptions here okay so the first thing which I'm going to do is create a new project I already did that but because I'm going to show some of the you know, keys so I'll create a new one so test to do app okay let's just create that and you will get a token which is the access token so let's just copy that uh, your server side is eight nine client side is 3f so okay I, I'll need the server side because I'm going to lock it through PHP so in my environment variable environment file sorry let's for now keep it like this and first thing is we'll create inside our config and then services we're going to define one new service so a roll bar so it's going to be an array and we will pass the access underscore token env roll bar access token okay this is something which we will require so that equals this and our env file is done access token is something which we will require then we will need environment okay uh, this is again going to be the app environment so app underscore env just to let you know this is something which we have always here local then production whatever it is okay uh, by default let's say it's production okay and root this is you know helpful for the stack trace uh, to you know, tell you the path of the files right so uh, we'll do that as base path okay our service is defined env file is ready i have already uh, included the package as uh, okay again i haven't so let's just do composer require i'll come over here I have that already okay yes composer require roll bar so if you hit this let's wait it out oh I have the package now and then we will create a new middleware so that you know the uh, roll bar configuration is available to us uh, every time so I'll create PHP artisan make middleware roll bar I'm going to app HTTP middleware roll bar okay this is the file we just need to uh, init the configuration so roll bar init config and in the config we can pass Uh, what was it? It's inside services dot roll bar. The next two parameters can be false and false. So what I'm basically telling is, you know, 
inside my config i have the services file and that is basically an array where i have rollbar as the key right so i'll create the conf in it with this config as services dot rollbar and this should uh, initialize the rollbar uh, class okay and this i want to instantiate in all my requests so let's update this i'll say app HTTP middleware I have roll bar okay let's see if we are able to load that okay it seems to be working now there are two ways of uh, catching the exceptions one is if for example I go to my routes file get error function should hit the uh, okay let me just see uh, init code and then message something failed okay error right something failed fine and in my dashboard Mm, why is it still doing that uh, let me go to the items hmm. I think um, it's still not able to detect any of the things because if I go to dashboard it should show me something like this okay uh, so in PHP the access token highway 894a right so this is fine there's nothing wrong here and nothing is wrong here as well roll bar routes let me see the middleware Everything seems to be fine. Do one thing. Uh, I'll put a try catch in this. Something which can be done like this. Okay. Uh, throw exception. Everything should be root level. Uh, it seems the abort is uh, not working properly uh, we have to uh, add our handler to do that but anyways uh, right now on the error page we are doing a try and then in that we are throwing a new exception hit the refresh button and now it should show us the two exceptions okay I can change it to anything for example this is test exception right I can say again something went wrong let's just assume uh, that you know, this is kind of a message which we are getting so uh, count is three but okay the count is incrementing let's see uh, test exception what are the occurrences inside occurrences we have three occur uh, four occurrences right oh yeah so the message is something went wrong and uh, you know we, you can go into details of each and every occurrence and check why this happened you know this has very uh, you know detailed level things for example the the browser the time when it happened and uh, replay current command so we have you can get the entire JSON and once done you can delete the occurrence as well so this is one way of doing it now the abort didn't work uh, there, there's a reason for that what we need to do is you know in Laravel we have this exceptions there's a handler okay in this it says parent report dollar e okay this is the exception right so very easily we can do roll bar and then we can say 
report exception dollar e okay and i think now uh, the you know, thing which we are trying to do which is about 500 this should come now let's see if this comes uh, okay we have this and go to our items yes this should come now so as you can see we are able to you know yeah go into the details of each and every you know exception which the application throws and we can very easily you know locate them for example what is it we can have even 404s uh, to be handled so you know, if i do something like this page does not exist and then I'll get a 404 so get the point right not found exception so all those things will come here and this is a good way to you know make sure that your application is handling all the exceptions and uh, more than that you can uh, even have uh, normal messages which will help you uh, log in, uh, informational messages and you can then uh, keep a track for example how many users have logged in or maybe how many users have changed their password uh, things like that so yeah try this uh, you know, service and I'm sure you will like this thanks for watching the video guys uh, if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel